Let's take this old cabinet used for a wedding and turn it into winter art using recycled winter stag papers. First, I'm taking off the old flowers and then I'm using my heat gun to loosen up any of the leftover glue and scrape it off. I was planning to just paint the back of this, but after I realized the vinyl would poke out, I had a happy accident and decided to put this music paper on instead. So here I am trimming it up to get ready to decoupage it. Next step is to grab DIY liquid patina, my favorite decoupage medium. It's thinner, it allows you to brush it on, layer it in, and not have to deal with big gluey sticky messes. And the bubbles tend to fade away as it dries. And I'm grabbing my Winter Stag Recycle Papers. We're just using the little guy this time. I'm using the big one for a different project and cutting them up. Next up, I'm grabbing my White Swan from DIY and painting the back. It's gonna make it pop against that dictionary paper. Carefully sandwich it in, a layer underneath, a layer on top, and the antlers are very small, so it's easy to rip, which I did, but it all turns out okay in the end. Next, I am grabbing my green remold from Prima and adding some of my creative paper clay and just trying to get it as flat as possible. I put a little cornstarch in it before I started so that they would pop out easily. I like turning it upside down and gently pushing them out and then putting them where you want them. You can also use resin. I sell amazing casting resin too on my site. I grab some clear adhesive and now I am painting them after they dry with Monet's Garden. After it's good and dry, I let the clay sit overnight before I painted it actually. Then I take my clear wax from DIY and I layer that all over everything, including the dictionary paper. Then I grab my dark wax, which is a dark brown, and I'm antiquing this frame. I didn't paint the frame. It was actually in good shape and I knew I wanted to antique it. So now I'm buffing this off and then I'm grabbing my golden rule from DIY and adding gold, gold, gold all over those leaves. It was such a game changer. Last step is liquid patina in all the gold glitter and a little bit of diamond dust. Shook that off, got it all over the floor, and now I am enjoying my finished product. What do you think? A reminder of the before and here's the after. I love it so much. I love that I can take things that are discarded and people don't even give a second look and turn it to something completely unique that can be in your home all winter. Keep following me for more and happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you're on my email list and following me on Facebook and YouTube because we got a lot going on for the holidays.